Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. So if you're receiving this error with Fortnite game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. The next step is to run Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So you can close Epic Games Launcher. So close it, you can exit from here. Make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on Exit. Once Epic Games Launcher is closed, now type in Epic Games Launcher in Windows search box. Make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on Open File Location. And then again make a right click and then click on Open File Location. Over here you can see the game exe file, uh, sorry the Epic exe file. Make a right click, select properties and go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply, click on OK and then now you can launch Epic Games Launcher and then you can try to launch the Fortnite game and then check. Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to untick administrator from the from all the game exe file and then run it in Windows 8 compatibility mode and disable full screen optimization. Now for this go to Epic Games Launcher, click on these three dots and then click on manage and then over here you can see installation and you will see the folder icon click on it this will take you to the game installation folder open fortnite game binaries win64 scroll down you will see all the exes file over here so make a right click and then select properties and over here if run this program as an administrator is checked you can uncheck this box and then put a check over here select windows 8 you can even try windows 7 if that does not work first of all try windows 8 and then put a check on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok do the same thing with the second exe file select properties and then uncheck administrator put a check over here select windows 8 or windows 7 disable full screen optimization apply ok do the same thing with the third exe file make a right click select properties and then Again, uncheck administrator, put a check, select Windows 8 or Windows 7, disable full screen optimization, apply, OK, and then launch the game. You can make a double click, launch the game from here. Make a right click, select properties. Again, uncheck run as administrator, put a check over here, select Windows 8 or Windows 7, disable full screen optimization, apply, OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to clear Fortnite or Epic's cache file. Now for this, Type in run in Windows search box and then click on run. In the open box over here, type in percentage local app data percentage and then click on OK. Now over here, find first of all, find Fortnite. So here you can see, first of all, you can see uh, Epic Games um, cache file, make a right click and then click on delete. You will see Epic Games launcher cache file delete. If you are not able to, in that case, you can close this Epic Games launcher. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now find Fortnite. So here you can see Fortnite game, make a right click and then click on delete. So this will delete the cache. Now find Unreal Engine, make a right click, delete and then make a right click on Unreal, Unreal Engine Launcher, delete it, continue and in my case again I have launched, you can close Epic Games Launcher and then you can try it. Now once that is done, now you can open Epic Games Launcher and then you have to log into Epic Games Launcher this time and then launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error. The next step is to allow full control to the all the game exe file. Now for this, again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and you will see all the game exe file. Now over here, Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to the security tab and then click on edit over here and then select allow 
apply ok select the second system edit then you have to click on allow if not again select this one edit again put uh, put a check on allow apply ok in my case i have already done so edit full control apply ok apply ok so even over here security edit yeah i have already allowed so make sure everything is allowed and then click on ok do the same thing with this second exe file properties security edit allow apply ok do the same thing with all the username so edit and then allow apply ok in my case it's already done edit allow in my case it's already done edit allow apply ok do the same thing with this exe file do the same thing with this exe file once done you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update and then check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this go to the game installation folder and then you can make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator you can do the same thing with this exe file you can try all the exe file one by one make a right click then click on run as administrator make a right click then click on run as administrator and check which one is working fine for you next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle eye now for this go to the game installation folder and open the game folder fortnite game binaries win64 you will see battle eye double click battle eye now over here you can see uninstall battle eye option over here make a right click on this file click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and once done again make a right click on the install battle eye and then click on run as administrator click on yes and then now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to if you have bull guard antivirus in that case you can go to advanced settings in your antivirus and then under general you will see an option which says allow bull guard to protect its component against termination so you have if you have to uncheck that box and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to windows settings and go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so, and open the game folder and then select all the exe file so select all the exe file over here open again click on browse all apps second one allow open third one open and then again fourth one and then fifth one so allow the game exe file over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings on the top click on allow another app browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the fortnite folder so go to this pc wherever the game is installed go to the game installation installation folder Fortnite game binaries win64 now select all the exe file over here open add again click on allow another app browse select the second one open add allow another app browse third one open add allow another app browse fourth one open add again at the last one open add and then click on ok once it is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now for windows insider program user so if you have enrolled for opted for windows insider 
program you can go to windows update settings and then find the recovery option and then use the go back option to revert to the previous inside build insider build now for this so go to settings and then go to windows update now go to advanced option now over here you can see recovery go to recovery and over here you will see go back option so click on go back and then next no thanks now before you perform this please go through this what you need to know before you do this this might take a while you won't be able to use your pc until it's done leave your pc plugged in and turned on after going back what will happen you will have to reinstall some apps and programs you will lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build are your files backed up this shouldn't affect them but it's best to be prepared so only if you agree to this click on next and then revert now the next step is to like if you have any game which has the battle eye for like example pubg i have uh, in pubg you will have battle eye so you can first of all rename be service underscore x64 in fortnite and then copy the copy this file from from any game any other game which has battle eye copy that and then you can paste it to the fortnite folder i'll show you how to do it now for this first of all go to uh, fortnite game open the fortnite game folder now binaries folder win64 and then open battle eye and over here you can see uh, be service underscore x64 so you can make a right click and then you can rename it as b service underscore x64 i'll rename it as dot old you can rename it whatever you want and once this is done now go to the installation folder of any other game for example i have pubg game so i will go to the pubg game open program files uh, wherever the game is installed you can go to the game installation folder i have the game on steam now open the game which has battle eye so pubg has a battle eye so i will open this tsi game binaries win64 and battle eye and then copy this b service underscore x64 you can copy this file and then go back to fortnite game folder and then windows 64 battle eye open it now i have renamed this and i will copy and paste the this file from another game and i will paste it over here once this is done you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to take the ownership of the game folder now for this go to the game installation folder and then you will see the fortnite make a right click on the fortnite folder select properties and then go to the security tab and then over here click on advanced option and then over here you can see owner change it click on change and type in every one over here and then click on check names and then click on okay and then put a check on take ownership on sub containers and objects and then click on apply okay 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 now again make a right click and then select properties security tab once again advance once again click on add over here now click on select a principal again type in everyone over here put a check on put click on check names okay and then click on full control and then click on okay apply okay okay now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this you can launch epic games launcher and then go to your library and then find the fortnite and then click on these three dots and then click on manage and here you can see verify option you can click on verify and let the verification complete once the verification verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to reset your computer so if nothing is working you can reset your computer but you will lose all the data on your computer and all the application on your computer so for this you can go to settings so if you agree you can go to settings and then go to 
Windows Update, Advanced Recovery, and you will see Reset PC. Click on Reset. Now keep my files will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So you can select the option which you want. So I will select uh, keep my files and then click on local reinstall. Uh, select this option and then uh, click on next. And your system will restart. Select the troubleshoot option, then reset option. Again, go for keep my files or remove everything, whatever you want. And once that is done, after the reset, once the reset is done, I'm not doing it. Once the reset is done, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error with Fortnite game on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.